pumping out up to a trillion times more energy than our sun. If you were to have a close encounter with a supermassive black hole, you're gonna to have to go through a very dangerous environment. You have to survive the intense radiation. You have to survive the jet. So how do stars form around such violence? Astronomers find a black hole, which might hold the key to how the Milky Way got its first stars. There's a really exciting discovery of a supermassive black hole, the kind we normally only find at the hearts of galaxies, sitting out there by itself with no galaxy around it. This thing's shining like crazy, so we know it's gobbling up gas. HE 0450-2958 sits five billion light years from Earth, a black hole with a huge jet. This jet is smashing into dust and gas in its neighboring galaxy. You'd think it would destroy the galaxy, but instead, it's helping to build it. It's next to a big galaxy, and this big galaxy is forming stars like crazy. So we think what's going on is because of the stuff coming off of the black hole as it's growing, there are stars being triggered to form in this galaxy next to it. The black hole's colossal jet is the spark needed to create a star factory. The black hole is emitting radiation. And when this radiation runs into all the gas in the galaxy, this causes the gas to clump together and new stars get made. Direct evidence that black holes can create stars. HE0450-2958 might be a look back into the Milky Way's past. Our galaxy's supermassive black hole's violent feasting sparks stars into life. These stars are drawn by the black hole's huge gravity and orbit, building the galaxy. The black hole could actually stimulate star formation. So some people believe that the very fact that we have galaxies is due to the fact that we have a raging black hole at the center, which helps to initiate star formation. It's possible that the black hole could have created many of the stars we see in our sky today, including the one star we can't live without, our sun.